the first symptoms of my wait hold on <laughs> the first symptoms of my um heart failure were significant loss of weight chronic cough loss of breath or like breathless breathlessness um lack of a diet chills and hot flashes um which ultimately led to me having a stroke and being in the hospital for 15 days um which was a whole new experience because you don't realize how valuable your life is and how you shouldn't take things for granted. Um, my initial reaction to the entire thing was to use humor. Um, I didn't really realize how bad things were until a week into staying in the hospital. Um, but my entire family was kind of out of their minds when it all happened. Um, I don't think it really set in that like I had almost died three times within two days until I realized that I couldn't use my right arm and then I also couldn't walk. So losing my, uh, I guess, motor skills and ability to walk were definitely eye-opening, um, but thankfully it didn't take that long to um, relearn everything. my health impact my major um it kind of did the stroke definitely affected the left side of my brain so it was harder to remember like basic math or like just memorization in general was hard um and that led me to switching out of business and art history um the hardest part of this i think is trying to remember that like I'm definitely not normal but like at the same time I kind of am um like I'm not the same person I was three years ago but things have definitely changed but for the better I would say um I think art definitely helped cope with every help me cope with everything because it was just a way for me to kind of let my frustrations out and also just not stress about the fact that there are certain things I can't do now because of my heart condition, um, but I can still use art as like an outlet. I think the person, or what really is, it inspires my art is probably family and friends just because like I grew up around art, like my mom's an artist, my dad's an artist, my cousin really likes music um, and drawing, so it's definitely kind of a way to bond with my family, um, and it helped us get closer after the whole hospital thing. Um, Fostering kittens has definitely kind of showed me responsibility and it's kind of like taking care of children so I think I'm kind of been exposed to like motherhood in a way and um, that's kind of helped with like the whole coping with the whole heart thing because therapy or something like animal comfort it's definitely fostering kittens and just having a cat in general helps me kind of they're like my little outlet like if I'm stressed I'll cuddle them or it's a way for me to kind of just relax and like not think about whatever's stressing me out and kind of decompress because I'm able to like play with them but at the same time, like, I am responsible for them. So I think that's definitely helped me, like, grow as a person.
I think my health has impacted my life because I'm more cautious of what I eat and drink and then I'm more cautious of how or what I'm doing like there are certain things I can't do I can't ride roller coasters anymore um, if I exercise I have to watch how long I exercise for and what I'm doing when I'm exercising because um, I'm I'm more aware of what I'm doing and like how I'm feeling so like no matter what I'm doing I'm always looking out for like any symptoms that could like potentially show that I am reverting back to like going into congestive heart failure um, I'm like with my future despite like everything that's happened and the fact that like there are certain things I can't do or I have to be more cautious about. Um, I'm hoping that like in the future I'm still able to like experience what I want like getting married or having kids but like obviously that comes with complications and like I definitely need to be more cautious but I'm hoping that even though I went through a very life altering, altering experience that like I can still somewhat live normally. Has anyone, oh, ooh, there is definitely, I would say when I was in the hospital, there were definitely one or two people, excluding my family, that definitely played a major role in like my recovery. Um, I kind of called them like my Superman, but like the first memory of like being in the hospital, I just remember like this male voice telling me to like be calm and that like everything's okay. And even though like I couldn't see anything um, and I can only hear at that time, like I just remembered his voice and like him kind of just calming me down. <clears throat> and then I just remember after waking up, there was just like this chaotic um, energy around me with like everybody coming in and out, taking tests and like making sure I'm okay. And then all of a sudden I hear the voice again and it's this nurse who was there like from the start and then he just kept checking on me, the, checking in on me the entire time. So like that definitely helped me just because I felt like I kind of had this, um, he was kind of like, what's the word? Like a, you know what they call it? When you like write the ground, like it gra like he kind of grounded me the yeah. entire time um and like I was able to just I was able to focus on my recovery just because I knew that like there were people that were working at the hospital that like were gonna be there for me like the entire time and they weren't just gonna be there because they were taking care of me um but yeah I definitely am really glad and um, what's the word? Mm, thankful? Thankful and grateful for having someone that was always there for me. He was always looking out for me. He made sure that, like, I was comfortable, that, like, I wasn't being mistreated. Um, so, yeah, that definitely played a major role in my recovery. Um, I think the fact that I was also really young when everything happened also helped, but I was just really glad that despite like all this misfortune, I had a bunch of people that had my back and were there to help me recover quickly. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like lack of memory of words is definitely a major thing when it comes to like yeah wait do we say that on tape <laughs> hang on um i think one of the biggest things that i still um struggle with is definitely not being able to remember certain words even though they're like at the tip of my tongue i just can't get them out um but we're working on it it's a work in progress um, do you want to talk about a file or anything, if that helped her at all? No? Okay. <laughs>
if I L was after I like recovered or like True. when I was like good. Like my mental health was great before 